Hi and welcome to a lecture on herpes virus infections. The table here and the one on your next slide detail the various herpes virus infections. Eight types of herpes viruses infect humans. The following lecture would address the treatment of herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus infections in both immunocompetent and immunocompromised patients. It should be noted here that in immunocompromised patients, herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus infections may be more severe and resolve less rapidly in comparison to immunocompetent host. The recommended antivirals are the same in both the patients, however, dosage regimens may be different. The table also includes Epstein-Barr virus and human herpes virus type 8, also known as Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus, which can cause certain cancers. Roseola infantum is a childhood disease caused by herpes virus 6 and sometimes 7. Herpes simplex virus Herpes simplex is a viral disease caused by the herpes simplex virus. Herpes simplex is divided into two types. Herpes simplex virus type 1 primarily causes mouth, throat, face, eye and central nervous system infections, whereas herpes simplex virus type 2 primarily causes anogenital infections. Recurrent genital herpes in HIV infected patients can be treated with either a cyclovir 200 to 400 milligram five times per day, famcyclovir 500 milligram twice daily, or valcyclovir one gram twice daily for a period of five to seven days. Recurrent genital herpes in immunocompetent patients is treated with either oral acyclovir, famcyclovir, or valacyclovir. When initiated within the first 12 hours after symptom onset, these agents may reduce median times to pain relief and lesion healing by about 1 to 2 days. Shorter courses of therapy initiated within hours of symptom onset appear to be as effective as 5-day treatments for episodes of recurrent genital herpes in healthy individuals. Herpes proctitis Herpes proctitis refers to the inflammation of the rectal mucosa caused by herpes simplex virus infection. It can be acquired by anal intercourse or through oral anal contact. Symptoms include anorectal pain and mucopurulent or bloody rectal discharge. <laughs> 